Hey guys, what's up? It's Emergency and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So we're back again with our little series that we're creating of um, me basically having opinions about things that have to do with college and then you guys sending me videos of your experiences and me reacting to them for all of you to see. I don't really know what we're gonna call this series because um, I just made it up right now. Before I get into anything, I just wanna thank you guys so, so much for your support on the last couple of videos. It means so much to me because I feel like we just have a thing, you and me, with the summertime, because summertime is just like grow time between us. Last summer we had a huge jump from like 4,000 subscribers to like 20,000 subscribers and I was like, ah, and I'm feeling the same energy this year. Let's get to 30,000 subscribers. Anyways, with that out of the way, let's talk about what this video is going to be about. So as you probably know from the title, we are going to be talking about Greek life. Yes, Greek life. If you guys have seen any of my past videos, you know my opinions on Greek life. Going into 2020, we need to stop supporting Greek life after they've been proven to do some pretty messed up stuff. I think it's safe to say that it's not necessarily my cup of tea. I personally never see myself joining Greek life because of like all the preconceived notions I have in my head and stuff that I've seen from different fraternities and sororities um, through my time in college. That's just me. I'm gonna get into exactly why I don't really necessarily vibe with Greek life and some of the preconceived notions that I have about it from being an outsider. And then we're going to transfer it over to you all because again, I asked y'all on Instagram, if you haven't followed me on Instagram yet, what are you doing? I've, I've been talking about this for weeks now, do it. But I asked y'all on Instagram again to basically send me a little clip of you sharing your experience in Greek life. So for all of my Greek roommates out there, thank you so much for submitting a video. We're going to get into that a little bit later. But right now, let's get into what I think. So at least for me at my school, Greek life hasn't been a huge, huge, huge factor in like my experience because it's not a ginormous thing at my school. It's not like a state school. It's nowhere near there. Like they have a presence and they're like known. Oh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say known. They're heard of. And I'm sure they're great. I'm sure they do amazing things. But the only times I really hear from them or like see anything of them, it's when they are involved in a scandal saying something problematic or doing something problematic, which probably isn't all they do, but that's all I see. So that's like all I've been thinking. And I've heard a lot of bad things, <laughs> specifically things that have happened at their parties to college girls. Yikes. So in my head, at least, I have this kind of negative light on Greek life, but I also hear that they do some pretty amazing things. I hear like they're great for like building a sense of camaraderie, leadership, um, brotherhood, sisterhood, and all that. And a lot of them also do philanthropy and they do stuff to help their communities. I know especially the Divine Nine. If you don't know what those are, do yourself a favor and educate yourself because the history is awfully flavorful. They're basically the historically black fraternities and sororities on campuses. At my school, they don't have as big of a presence as the other Greek life things do, but that doesn't count them out any less. I see the work that they do, and I'm not sure if I'm being biased, but they do amazing things to give back to their community um, that are like really personalized and aren't just like donating to charities. But that's that's me. That's how I feel. These are my preconceived notions. So now we're going to watch and react to some of the experiences that some of y'all have had in Greek life. Um, and hopefully y'all can prove me wrong for at least some of them. So the first video we're gonna watch comes from the lovely roommate, Beth. Hi roommates, what's up? So I'm a member of Tri Sigma, and I believe the most common misconception people have about Greek life is that it's a personality trait, and it's not. It's not something that defines you, it's something that helps you and helps your life. For example, in my sorority, we have an empowered sister program, where I, as a new member, basically was paired with an older member who helped me identify my goals, my dreams, and just broke it down, like, basically, like, how can I accomplish this? How can I make them a reality? And I never really, like, even thought about that as a person. So, essentially, a sorority, fraternity, any other sort of Greek life is there to help you become a better person, help add to your personality, help add to who you are as a person, but it doesn't define who you are. That's really interesting because I know a lot of the time Greeks get stereotyped for giving up their personality in turn for being in their fraternity or sorority. And that's like the one thing that they ever talk about and is like their main identifier. Like, hi, my name is Rumi, I'm in Kappa Apple Pie. But it's also important to realize that like that's not always the truth. <laughs> Thank you so much, Beth, for sharing your experience. The next video comes from Reno, who actually goes to GW, so shout out GW. Not the school, the student body, let's watch. Before I came to college, I was very much against the idea of joining a sorority. I never thought of myself as a sorority girl, but look where we are now. Um, They got you. Because I believed a lot of the misconceptions people have of sororities. 
And I think the biggest misconception people have is that you're paying for friends, but I have to say that's not true because just because you pay dues, which they are a lot, um, you're not guaranteed best friends or an internship or anything. Greek life is so proud of providing for its members because you still need to make an effort. You still need to go to philanthropy events and chapter and uh, check up on people and make these awesome connections to have lifelong friends. But it makes it so much easier to be in a chapter with people who have the same values as you and care about the same things as you and you're bound to make awesome connections but you still need to try and i think another misconception people have of greek life is that they're all racist you're not wrong <laughs> you're not wrong there as a person of color myself in a sorority i am really glad i went through recruitment and i'm really happy to be in my chapter but it's really unfortunate that greek life has had racist incidents including at gw but i can tell you that not all chapters and not all greek life everywhere is the same and that we're all working against these incidents and we're continuing to edu educate ourselves and have these programs to work against these incidents from happening i think it's good the greek life is at least like trying to be a little better i just personally feel like they should try harder <laughs> that's that's just my opinion on that um, I don't really know what goes on on the like inner workings of like the the Greek society. Like, like I don't know if it's some kind of circle of like frat bros and sorority girls being like, ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ooh. Like, like I don't know. I just see what I see, and what I see isn't necessarily good. But it's good to know that they're working on it at least. So thank you, Raina, for sharing your experience. This next clip comes from my good friend Charles. <laughs> What's up, everybody? My name is Charles Aborasan, and I am a friend of the one and only Emergency. And he asked me today to talk to you guys about what it's like being in a fraternity. So um, if you couldn't tell already, I'm a member of Phi Beta Sigma Fraternity Incorporated, which was founded on January 9th, 1914 on the campus of Howard University. An educated man, huh? And my time here on the, the, with this fraternity has been nothing short of amazing. Um, I really enjoy it, really like it. But most importantly, I really like the networks I'm able to make with like-minded individuals. And that has also just been, a, in and of itself, a great experience for me, academically, career-wise, and socially. Um, I guess now to turn to some of the downside of things I don't like, which I kind of find some hard words to use. But um, I guess one of the things I would say I don't like is the uh, misconception about your fraternity, and then uh, by extension, you as a person. So people get, get you get the stereotype of being a frat kid or uh, things along those lines. So it's just. Oh, that's just fake. This is weird. Um, there's some misconceptions about joining a fraternity, specifically a D9 fraternity, is that there's a lot of underground, mystical, demonic stuff that goes on. <laughs> Not demonic. It's fake. I've never had to do any, no such thing, and I will never do no such thing. I am a man of the the lord and i'm not committing myself nothing no crazy nonsense like that so all that stuff misconception is just completely false and it's just um it's just hearsay you know it's not, not real how's being in a black frat different than being in a white frat and i guess um well for one i've never been in a white frat so i couldn't really make that uh distinction as clear as i possibly wanted to but i would guess i would from what i've seen um i would say that i think being in a black fraternity um there's a lot more flavor, deep seed, seated um, connection between uh, the members that are within it. So, like, I know for a fact that there are a lot of members across the nation who are part of D9 fraternity sororities that crossed separate like 30 years ago and are still best friends till today. Um, that's just something I've yet to see from white fraternities. I could be wrong, but yeah, that's what I've seen. So, but enough from me. Let's get back to emergency. Whoa, CEO of Transitions, thank you for making my job easier. But yeah, I feel like he gave a good synopsis of like what his frat was about, some of the things that he's seen and like some misconceptions that he's had. Um, just generally a high quality video, I'm not gonna lie. Thank you so much for sharing your experience, Charles. The last video we have comes from Nas, who, I don't even need to tell you, let's just get into it. What's up, y'all? My name is Nas. I'm a rising senior at the George Washington University, and I'm a member of the Kappa Chi chapter of Kappa Alpha Psi Fraternity Incorporated. And my good friend Emergency invited me here to tell you a little bit about my Greek life experience at GW. And if I had to choose one word that explains my Greek life experience, I would say monumental. 
My Greek life experience has been amazing. I have been a member of my chapter since my freshman year at GW. And I have seen continuous growth on my behalf um, as a young leader. Uh, and I've been given a platform to initiate positive change. When I joined my chapter, I was surrounded by my fraternity brothers who who were like-minded individuals and wanted to achieve our motto is achievement in every field of human endeavor. And we tried to do that in everything, in service and philanthropy, um, professionally and academically. And thus far, we have uh, one chapter of the year. We have one step shows. We have been able to do service events, which include uh, turkey drives and, and um and toy drives during the holiday season. Most recently, we did an inspired service from home challenge where we did um, a social media challenge where we, you know, challenged other fraternities and sororities to donate to a nonprofit of their choice to help with COVID relief. And I think that, you know, many people join um, Greek Life to do that, um, to be given a platform to be, uh, to have, you know, brothers and, and sisters um, to do great things. And I think that I've been able to do that with my fraternity. And it's it's been it's been like I said in the beginning of the of the video, uh monumental and, and going into my senior year, I hope to continue to to do great things. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me if you see me on campus. So my conclusion got cut short in my last video, but I wanna say big shouts out to Emergency for putting this video together. I hope this video is able to educate the community on Greek life. And just know that Greek life ain't only about partying and having fun, but about our rich history and ideals to uplift and serve the community. So stay safe, y'all. All right, before I even react to that, I just like to say, like, make Nas president. Like, Nas for president, to be honest. <laughs> because I was very well said. Like, even I was like, hmm, maybe, maybe I should start thinking about this Greek life a little different. I love to see when people get a platform and then do good with it. And it seems as if from what Nas is saying, that is what he and people in his fraternity have been doing um, to try and service others and like help others out, which has been amazing. I actually know Nas, he was an RA with me last year. And I can tell you that what he's saying is actually true because I've seen him like do some crazy, amazing things with his fraternity. Those are all the submissions that I have for today. Did they necessarily change my opinion on Greek life? No, but they didn't lighten me to some of the things that they have been doing and some of the good that they have been doing. So it's not all just the things that you hear in the news. Not that I'm defending Greek life from all the things that they get in the news for, but there is at least some good coming out of it. And I hope that you, whether you are someone that's looking at college, someone that's applying to college, someone that's been in college and like been new about all this, can take away something and learn at least a little something new about fraternities and sororities and what they actually are about and what they do. But that's enough for me. I wanna hear what you have to think about all this in the comments down below. Again, if you're new to the channel and wanna see more content like this, make sure to subscribe and leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Thank you to all the Greeks that submitted videos and I will see you all in the next video. Peace.